Hello, welcome to How to Play German Chicago, a game for three or more players. This game comes to us from Dice Games Properly Explained, and there's no rules for it found online, so you'll have to go with this. You'll need six chips and three dice, and basically, you'll need two chips for each player. We're doing a three-player game here. You'll need three dice that stay the same no matter what the player count is. Once the dice are rolled, they may be held while the remaining dice are re-rolled. Held dice may not be re-rolled. Opening player decides uh, how many rolls there are going to be by whenever he decides to stop rolling. And here he rolled three times, so he's going to announce the total, 165 and 3. Each one is worth 100 points, each 6 is worth 60 points, every other value is worth its face value. So now North goes and we have 260, so he is no longer the lowest roller. So now it's East will go. And he is going to be the lowest roller, so he will gain a chip. And he will also be the opening player for the next roll. He announces 165 and 1. That's the total you have to beat. And whoever had the lowest roll will then get a chip, and they will become the opening roller. And we will announce 104 in, well, that should be 3. Uh, so then we just keep going. And once uh, you have a higher total, you just uh, announce it, then everybody else gets a chance to beat that. If they don't beat it, then whoever the lowest roller was will get the chip. And so the game just goes on like that. Uh, basically, the first phase is to get rid of all the chips. The next uh, phase will be to, once all the chips have been given away, we'll move on to phase two. So while we're waiting for that to happen, I can tell you this was a pretty interesting game. Uh, something that would be pretty good to play. Uh, very simple a gambler that doesn't necessarily feel like a gambler. It can be a non-gambler. Uh, the person with the most control really is the opening player. And of course that shifts every time there's a loss. So now we've gone on to phase two. Now if somebody does not have any chips, they'd be declared the winner. But in this case, we want to see who comes in second. So we went ahead and did a playoff. You don't normally have to do that unless you're trying to figure out a loser. Basically use this game as an excuse to find out who pays for dinner and all that. And... Uh, who uh, who has to not pay for dinner. Something like that. Simple concept, simple socializing game. You can play at this bar, play it somewhere else. Anywhere where there's a group of people that not necessarily uh, the best of friends. And it looks like we see that player two has uh, placed second, and player three has lost. So if you actually want to play this in public with other people you don't know, otherwise known as strangers, come to our card game meetup subreddit, post your city, post what games you want to know, what games you want to play, where you want to do it. Uh, we need more people posting what cities they're in. People join, but they never post, so do feel free to do that. If you click under the show more in the description, you'll see all the other video uh, producers that I like. In addition to the music, the rules, and any other pertinent info, including two links to a Discord channel where we talk about card games, dice games, domino games, all day, every day. And we also have a Discord channel for uh, solitaire games. And so do like and subscribe and share these videos with all your friends. Don't forget to call them up and let them know, hey, you know, it would be a good idea to play some dice games this weekend. I know one that can uh, be used if we play with some coins, and they might say, yeah, sure, that sounds like a great idea. After work, I'll come do that. I want to thank today's musician, Dale Mathis Accordion, for their excellent music. Do check out their channel. they got a lot of music, and it's a lot of fun. It's perfect music to play dice games and drink beer over. So do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.